Who plays right behind you at nickel? Um, Jordan Peters and um, Javon Myers. They have like rotation, just different days. I know you guys lost, you know, four seniors at safety and obviously Carlton, mm -hmm. but with you and Jamel back, you know, a lot of a lot of the advanced metrics show that you guys were two of the better cornerbacks around last year. Just how good can this secondary be with y'all this year? Um, overall, I think we have a, a real good chance to be very good and. You can't talk about it, we just got to be about it, but everybody's different in their own way, and we all just have to combine and come together and play as one. But I feel like the sky's the limit for our secondary. What makes Jamel so good at cornerback? Is it the size, the length, what, what all does he kind of bring to that? I feel like he has it all, though, to be honest. Uh, size, the length, um, and to be that, that big, he, he's very fast. So, you know, I feel like he's a complete cornerback. How do you think you guys did as a Defensive group today in the scrimmage. Overall, I feel like we did a lot of good things, but we can't be satisfied off that. We just have to see what we did wrong and correct the mistakes. You know, uh, Jamel doesn't talk a lot of junk, does he? No, no. He's he doesn't. quiet around us. Yeah, he doesn't talk that much. That way with y'all too. Yeah, yeah. I mean, usually you think of cornerbacks as being a guy that's all up in the face of that wide receiver and let him know what's going to happen and yeah, he, bad things. He mostly just let his play do the talking for him. He's kind of a quiet guy though. Do y'all have a trash talker in the secondary? Uh, I mean, overall, I feel like we all, sometimes we all can talk, but most of the time, we all just let our play do our talking. Well, Smoke likes to run his mouth, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you said you wanted to have a Terran Matthew type season. How would you quantify that? Just, I guess, making making plays, them big plays, and being a playmaker every, not every, I say every game, just making those key plays for my team. For those of us who haven't gotten to watch him as much, how has Noah been able to be such a good cornerback so so quickly for a guy who didn't play it until this year? Well, he's he's very smart, so he's he's just caught on to the playbook, and he's he already had that athleticism. So I feel like he just got to keep coming along, and the more comfortable he get, the better he'll be. You've always had the scrimmage good day. Any, any big plays that you can remember anything stand out to you about? Um, overall, like I said, the scrimmage the scrimmage was okay, but. I feel like we, we got to correct the little mistakes. And it's not about like what we did good, it's about what we did bad. So I guess we just got to watch the film to go from there. What would you, uh, you learn from Charles Barkley? Uh, he's funny. But <laughs> um, overall, I feel like it was an honor for him to come talk to us. And he gave us some key wisdom. I say like about taking one game at a time, that was very important. And even if we do have like something goes wrong, you just got to get back up. So I guess that that was really what stood out to me, the most. And education that was very important. Have you uh, have you raced Schwartz or Shivers yet? No, nah, we haven't raced yet. How you think you do? Um, those guys fast, but I mean I'm fast too. So I just we just got to see. And one okay. day we'll race. Darius was up here last week admitting that he's not the fastest guy on the team anymore. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, but I ain't. They they're running, but. Like I said, we, we might all get together and do like a, 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 a good competition race. What stands out to you about the freshman corner so far? Um, they're all competing at a high level, and they know that they're going to have to play this year. And that's what uh, not the coaches, but us players, the older players, are emphasizing and preaching to them that they're going to have to play, and they're going to play early. So just, I guess, making them get as most comfortable as they can be. You guys got three new starters, and you're going to have to have three new starters in the secondary. Big picture, how good can you guys be? Overall, I feel like even though all of us don't have a lot of experience, the talent level is there, and I feel like the effort is there. And as long as all of we combine, we all together as one, we'll be fine. How's the depth going to be? Safety and the cornerback, <coughs> Nichols and Star? Um, Right now, we just still trying to figure out the depth chart, so I don't really know too much right now, though. But we we have a good rotation going on at star, uh, safety, and, and cornerback. So you think you guys got plenty of bodies back there to get yes. through a whole season? Yes, sir. I, th I think we have a, a good, good amount of depth. It's just, like I said, the young guys, every, they're already very talented. It's just once they got to get the experience and the game, so it'll be all be fine. With the returning starters at linebacker and on the defensive line, I mean, the secondary has kind of been pointed to as the question mark. I mean, what do you think <coughs> as you know, 
know, a member of the secondary. What do you think when you hear stuff like that? Um, it doesn't really bother me, but I just say that um, as a secondary, you just got to go out there and prove to everybody that we are good and we can't talk about it and just got to be about it.